Hey guys, Clyde here, live at the Leechburg Lights Workshop. Today on the inside we're working on uh, a couple little projects, one of them being this 10 watt flood uh, listed as IP66, it's from Ray. Um, Ray has these on his site for $12. I wanted to check out and see how good Ray's would stand up and uh, I was looking for just the dumb RGB flood. I didn't want a DMX flood, which usually costs a little bit more, and there's no onboard uh, uh, switch that you can change the DMX addressing channel to. It has to be programmed by him, or you have to buy a programmer. So uh, when I saw this, I asked him a couple questions. I had him send me two of them, and um, so this is what came. And as you can see, it says it's a 10-watt flood. It looks just like the LOR flood uh, on the inside there. That little that little flood is exactly the same as, well, it appears to be the same. But uh, what I did was, since I did get two of them, I kind of started tearing one apart and already did a little bit of a modification. And that's what I'm going to show you what I have done because I wanted you to see how this thing comes apart. Now, this is this is all pretty simple. You've got four screws, just loosen the screws, and you have the, the face, the face uh, plate frame and the rim come off. And then you have this, uh, this rubber gasket that goes around that probably provides a, a pretty good decent seal for around it. Like I said, I just opened them today, so I haven't tested these outside yet. Now, the, the next thing that needed to be done was I wanted to take off the reflector, and I'll do that for you real quick here. I don't want to lose these screws. And then, obviously, you can see inside here, it's not very complicated at all, but pretty much it looks like there's one, two, three SMD surface mount devices there, and uh, the inputs were uh, from right to left here, blue, green in the middle, and red on the, on the left. Now, um, as you can see, this has a, a white cord, and the one here is uh, connected right up uh, to the other to the board here it is a black cord and and I wanted to see if I could actually get this to work with a longer cord instead of having to waste my time using the cable that came with it can, instead of putting a pigtail or just soldering another wire onto here to make my length I uh, I took and I wrapped up about uh, 30 feet of this uh, four core 18 gauge wire So this is the 10 watt flood. We can see that there is some thermal compound on the on the back side of it. This is an aluminum housing, so right away you know that they're that they that this is going to produce quite a bit of heat. So it has to have a way to get rid of the heat. Uh, that's as simple as it gets. I I just uh, removed the solder. I just removed the solder points on uh, from the old ones and just soldered in place. I tinned these wires and soldered those in place. Here you can see I've connected. Uh, I've connected. This is around a roughly a 30 foot long cable. Uh, what I wanted to do was I wanted to test that. Um, and I'm using this four core wire. I found it online. I'll throw the link to this actual um, this actual wire that I'm using. I'm using Ray's pigtails as well. Uh, so anyway, I'll just go ahead and connect this up. Uh, I have both of them connected up right now. And right now I'm just going to go over and reach in and I'm going to flip this. I'm going to flip these up and down because these are very, very bright, and I don't want them uh, shining in my eyes while I do this. So, this is just a basic test pattern off of this controller. This controller, I'll throw the link up there. This wasn't from Ray, but you can get them from Ray. Uh, I ordered one or two. I think maybe it was a three-pack deal for $37 each, and I got free shipping or something crazy like that. So, um, this is a nice little controller. It does 5 volt to tw uh, 24 volt. Uh, so it, 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 it can power a multitude of things. This currently looks like a good test. Everything's running very well. Once again, this is 50 or uh, 30 feet of uh, wire going from a dumb RGB flood, which is pulling 10 watts. And I'll throw the math up there to show you that uh, 10 watts isn't really a whole lot of power. whenever it comes to 12 volts. So um, 
Other than that, guys, I think it's a solid test. I only ordered two of these to play with. I'll go ahead and install the other line on the other one. And, um, and that's, uh, that's about all I wanted to go over. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them below. Let me know what you think. And, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day.